tool I'm going to use here is a drywall saw. The saw will allow me to cut easily into the drywall. And what I plan on doing is cutting a slot down in this direction. And from there, I'll be able to route the wire within the drywall. You can see that the thickness of this wire compared to the curve of the saw is nearly identical. So I may be able to get away with making a small slot within the drywall and forcing this into the drywall without having to make a massive hole. Then the tile backsplash will go right over that and the hole that I want. Ideally, I would like it to be over here, but in this area, this is close to the electric. There's a stud right here. I was able to tell because you can hear uh, the, the sound. This is a, a light thud. I'm sorry, a deep thud. And then you get to hear and it's more of a, a light thud indicating that there's a stud here. So the wire uh, for this electric is going to go around in this area here. Chances are it doesn't go up. Uh, it'll, it'll come down from below and go to the other outlets. So I don't need to go deep into the wall. I only need to uh, break the surface of the drywall enough for the depth of this wire and I may be able to just squeeze it in. So this seems like it's a braided uh, type wire. So it's very flexible. When we install the backsplash, something else that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna re need to remove this casing. Uh, this is a window or door casing. And we'll remove this piece, clean up any of the excess glue uh, or caulk. That This has definitely been caulked to hide the, the seam. Now I could use a roto zip for this. Roto zip is definitely a handy tool for cutting the slot. And we can set the depth of the roto zip so it doesn't go in too deep. But I really don't want all the dust, have to clean up all the dust afterwards. So this task here, the dust will be pretty much localized to the countertop. I don't have to go down too far, so I'll go down right about here. I can actually start at an angle. Let's see how effective this is. The goal here is to see if I can get this flush. That's exactly what I'm going for. So now this is flush, I don't have to worry about filling it in because when I use the tile adhesive, tile adhesive I actually go in here and not that it's a big deal, but it'll seal this in place for sure. Now I'm not gonna have it like that, I'm actually gonna have excess and it's gonna come out here in this fashion. I have the slot cut all the way along here. What I need to do now is clean it up so that there's nothing protruding that would make the tile stick out. Everything's clean there. Now it's time to vacuum up the dust I created. I'd say I'd want to at least a foot and a half or two feet on each side. 
is a real destroyer. To cut this wire, I'm going to need a pair of uh, wire cutters. I have them here. What I'm doing is checking to make sure that the wire doesn't protrude beyond the drywall. So it has to be countersunk. And I'm using this plastic spatula, this plastic scraper to help push it in without damaging the wire. guess where I want to cut it so it's right about here at the end of this loop 